This is not the first time we have experienced fire outbreak. In a rapid order of events in months, reports fill the news space the fire incident in different parts of the country, getting residents worried and in turmoil. One could almost think the country was on fire. This is the busy life of the popular Owode Oniri market, a place best known for its sale of spare parts and engineering equipment. Luckily enough, no one was at the market at the time of the incident and no life was lost. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said as to the level of damage done to properties at the market, as billions of Naira worth of goods were destroyed. While other shop owners continue their day-to-day -day activities or business as usual, victims narrate the ordeal to Galaxy News. I verify, call the security in charge of the you know, market. That, is when, that time they said that around something 8.30 in the morning, they came there, passed through this place, no any fire, something. But surprisingly, quarter to nine, we, think we cannot even say Dixie's. What really happened? I don't understand what happened. I was at home when I received the call that my shop was on fire. On getting here, I saw that my shop has been raised on by the fire. I stocked my shop on Saturday for the coming festive period. I don't know where to start from. The government should please come and help me. I don't have a father nor a mother. I feed my children from my shop. Government should please help me. The cause of the fire is beyond human comprehension. None of us come to the market on Sundays aside the security man. So what may have been the cause of the fire outbreak can only be explained by God Almighty. Over 100 million Naira worth of properties were destroyed by the fire. Most of us in this market don't have money. Some would attribute the recurring fire outbreaks to ember months and the seeming dry season as well as the hot weather. Others would say they are basically man-made, triggered by carelessness and the laxitude of relevant agencies. In this case, the cause of the fire is yet to be ascertained. Speaking on the incident and recurring incidences of fire outbreaks, the Director General of LASEMA, Olufemi Oke Osoyintolu, enlightens us on best safety measures to avoid such recurrence. When the incident occurred, they call us on our emergency number, we inform, we activated our legal state emergency response plans, we inform all the key stakeholders and we are able to get there swiftly. You see somebody putting a naked candle on your plastic chairs, you see homes, they don't have fire extinguishers, you see the way they build their houses, they build it close in such a way that fire can jump from one shop to, to another. You will see them that they would off their um, electrical appliances and then when, they are, when they are buying their electrical appliances, they are buying fake materials. Yeah, we've condoned the place off and we are doing a lot of sense. A, a lot of sensitization. Look at the gas explosion that occurred. We are coming strongly on, on, on gas shops now. All gas shops have to key in into the regulations of them establishing shops. When there is fire, if the fire is small and you are trained to undo it with extinguisher, please fight it. But if you are not trained to undo it, it is better you call for help for uh, a fire service people who are professional to handle it and part of uh, 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 assistant is calling for help yes if there's an emergency there's nothing you can do but you can call people who are professional who knows what to do so that they can control the situation as if to bless the earth rain over part the surroundings cooling the surface of the earth will this be the last of this while we maintain safety standards one can only hope that such does not repeat itself and relevant agencies are prompt to intercede if such cases arise. Rita Omodia, Galaxy News, Lagos.